Hello everybody, Minden Storm here, and welcome back to Transport Fever. In the last episode, we worked on getting steel uh, connected to our freight system by connecting up the steel mill uh, near Ori, getting it fed iron ore and coal, and uh, setting up the trains and everything they are going to be moving stuff around. And wow, the auto saved that fast. Okay. And we also got our first vehicles that can be considered trucks here in the DMG Constat. I think that's what these things are called. They're uh, Daimler Motor Group, I think. And their first proper, I guess, what we could call a truck. It is a vehicle that is, runs off of an internal combustion engine not drawn by a horse. So, there we have it. And also there was a comment that the, the double road bridge that we have over here is a little bit odd. And sure it is. I mean, we, I could have just run this, this road across to here and accomplish the same thing, but you know what? From the train perspective of a train say, leaving the station here and coming up underneath these bridges. It actually looks kind of neat, in my opinion, anyway. Why are you stopping? Waiting for free pa- oh! Oh, wait a minute. Okay, it appears I forgot to put signals on this particular piece of track. Okay. So it's going to wait until it clears that whole thing. Okay, we need to, um, to fix that. Stop pausing it. Okay. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and throw a pair of signals there. That alone should be sufficient, but, oh, let me, I turned the signals off because they were kind of cluttering things up. Oh no, I do have signals here. And what in the world was causing your problem? Oh, because you're going straight. And that guy was coming through here. So he would have been in your way. Right, for some reason I thought you were going that way. I think I may have actually forgotten, but I might have done that in between episodes. I can't remember. There is also one other issue that I noticed after the uh, recording the episode. Is that... Uh, this... This steel mill should be producing slag, but it isn't. I ran things for it a little bit just to make sure that everything was uh, set up correctly. And um, yeah, that isn't producing slag. And the reason why that's not producing slag is because this train here on these lines can't carry slag the only wagons that could potentially carry slag are carrying coal and they're I set them up exclusively to carry coal so that doesn't quite work what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an adjustment here I'm actually gonna pause the game to prevent this train from aging any more than it already has. Because every second that goes by, the train ages and becomes more expensive to replace. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and... Um, we'll go ahead, wagons. Someone said that we could do this. Uh, oh, yes! There we go. Freight. 
Very nice. Now, we need something that can carry coal. And carry slag. We... But not necessarily... It doesn't need to carry construction materials. Because we have the boxcars for those. Or machines. Or tools. So... We just need something that can carry coal and slag. Three plank open wagon. The five plank open wagon. It can do 96, which this train isn't going to do. But it carries more stuff. than either of these. And you don't carry coal or... No, you don't carry coal. Okay. And you don't carry the machines or the tools or planks or construction material or anything else. So you know what? I think we're going to go with these. We're going to add one, two, three, four, five, six of those in and replace them. It's going to cost me three million. That's fine. So that we can get slag. Because if we produce slag, if we let these things produce slag, they will produce steel without producing slag, but they produce twice as much steel if it produces slag. So we want it to produce slag. Well, and because we also want to get that slag to the construction materials, because we want the construction materials, because the construction materials are things, are stuff we can sell. So, yes. That's fixed. Alright, the other thing I was noticing is that we have oil piling up here at the oil well and um, we can go ahead and fix that or work on that now what it means is that we have capacity and we're gonna need another train actually we're probably gonna need two trains and I just need to figure out I think it's this that we can do this. Um, we're going to duplicate our crude oil trains, which you're running eight tank wagons. Okay. So, and these guys were using the S1s. With eight of these tank wagons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I want two of those. And you are going to... Crude to Sector 7, and you are going to fuel the Sector 7. And they should sort themselves out. Alright, yep, you're updated and you're carrying Are you not are you yeah, you are carrying coal. Okay, good. And then we should start seeing slag show up here.
Let's see, you are... Steel to Sector 7, so you should be bringing... Yep, iron ore. You're not bringing any coal. That may take some time for the whole system to sort itself out. Because there's some coal. And we just delivered some coal. Okay. Yeah, we got some coal building up. Alright, good. All right. So, what is it we want to do next? We have a few options. I think I want to get back to passengers. And for passengers, we have a few options. We can continue on this route, basically setting up the uh, Dull Gold Door to Alda to High Charity Route. And we would basically have to... We would have to create a bridge over here and we probably would have to run a tunnel. Somewhere. Unless we could get... Through there. I'm sure we'll be able to. We'll probably still have to run a tunnel. Or. What we could do is try to connect the Limsa up. With a. A uh, passenger ferry. You know what? I like this idea. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and drop in a passenger uh, terminal. Uh, unable to align terrain, terrain alignment collision... There's got to be a spot in here that it'll take it. Docks outside of navigable waters. Oh, because I have this thing backwards, that that would be, you know, helpful if we oriented it in the right direction. Okay, so there we are. Um, there's a road. Let's see. Docks outside of navigable waters. Yeah, let's drop that in there. And then we'll figure out how this is going to work from here. Yeah. That worked pretty pretty cleanly. Now, getting this up the hill and connected to that it's gonna be interesting Well, I didn't expect it to work that easily. All right. And then... We'll do that. 
these two could probably connect through there. And... I can connect there. All right, so... We're gonna want a tram, as usual. I don't think we're gonna go too crazy with this tram, though. But let's go ahead and get some tram track on here. That ought to do it. Now, I'm not going to do like one of those full-on depots. Because I don't think we need it here. So we just need to get people to the ferry. So... Mm, I didn't want that on the outside. No, no, no. We want that on the inside. If we're going to go this way. Set this up as Tram Limsa Lo Minsa, and then we'll set up the line. Oh, that is like a terrible color. of a tram depot. Let's see, where will be the best place to put it? Somewhere where it's not going to create a really nasty lump in the road. That'll work. All right, let's get some trams. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get those guys going. All right. So, where are we want to connect this ferry up to? I think we might want to have a terminal over here at Revelstone. So let's see where I can fit it. I mean, right here would definitely work. But would over here make more sense and work better? You know, what, let's just tuck it in right here. Hmm. It'll let me do it. So we'll go with it. 
All right, are you in catchment of this? I think it is. Yes. I think it does. Alright. Well, we'll just... Assume it does. Alright, let's go ahead and set the line. This is going to be... Ship passenger. Um, RVS. To... Limsa. There we go. We go from you. To there. Do we want it to use a different terminal? Let's see, what if it used Terminal 2? Uh, yeah, I think that might make, make more sense. Yeah, let's have it use Terminal 2. And then... We actually already have a shipyard over here. So, we can go ahead and buy the ships here. Oh! I have this mod and I didn't realize it was going to be available. 1884. It carries 75 passengers. Steamship ferry. That carries 50, that carries 75. This is a million. 7,000 horsepower. Really? 168,000 a year. Um. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um. While that would be cool. 168,000 a year. I'm not sure we're going to run that. Let's do this. Let's buy four of the Frontenax set line. Let's see, there's 75 passengers. Do we really need four? Let's put two on there. And let's buy one of those and put it on there. Let's just uh, accelerate it. Let's get those uh, front and axe out of there. And there's our steam ferry.
See, the thing is that these things are fairly slow, so... You know, they still have an 11 minute... Frequency, but... They carry 75 passengers, so... With no demand yet, because we haven't even established a route, I don't want to put too many ships on there. Alright, that's good. Alright, how are things? You're delivering a load of coal. Alright, we've delivered some slag. We're on Florida Sector 7 train yard. Yep, there we go. So, you should get that picked up after you drop off your load of logs. And you're also delivering some construction material and a load of coal. So let's see, yeah, there's the coal. The logs are basically going straight into the mill and we're picking up tools, slag, and some fuel. Now hopefully that particular line is starting is making us what's well, making us decent money. That line's making us a ton. Cuz it is starting to deliver steel. And we are starting to bring some machines back. Okay, good. Good. All right, you're carrying slag and coal. Okay, so this guy is actually heading here, but these two are heading to Limsa first. That's interesting. All right. Okay, we do need to start thinking about the passenger loop around the crater. It is something we do need to consider. So, let's go ahead and, I mean, we don't have a lot of time left on this episode, but let's go ahead and figure out where the Ulda station is going to be. Because it's kind of nestled here in the hills. You need to be 200 meters long. Oh, that's not exactly what I wanted to do. Okay. Um... Do we want to kind of put it a little far outside of town? We could. Like, put it down here. I need to have two tracks. Uh, put it down here. 
And then we would just set up the roads with trams to get the passengers out to the, to the station. That might make the most sense. That might make the most sense. So let's go ahead and drop that in. Let's do it. Okay. Now, there is something here, because there was a mod that I know that I had installed, but could not figure out where it was. It's over here. So I think it was over here. I have all these mods installed for like decorative objects and stuff. There they are. Oh, those are the, just the flying junctions. There we go. Because... I can do my... Diamond junctions using these. Whoa. I just flipped that camera around pretty aggressively. Rather than trying to build them myself. So you might want to shorten that up a tad. And we can just kind of snap those to the end of the station. And there we have our, our diamond crossovers. Without having to manually build it. Now, the question just becomes, how do we get the train from here to here? That's going to be an interesting one. We probably want to do the, the diamond junction there as well. And I think you know, we need a bridge. Oop, just bumped my mic. Um, stone number? No, they're not fast enough. I don't know if I want to go with the steel. Let's see, if we made it a little bit higher? No, we don't need to make it higher. with a dark stone. Get that in there. Yeah, because unless we have an actual like port over here, we don't need it. But if I were going to build a port over here, we're not going to build it in there. Uh, what would it cost uh, to just say, you know what, do it. It'd be a $13.4 million tunnel the whole way through.
Let's see, what if I adjusted its... Wow, we can really affect its cost. Make it seven million? I mean, there's gonna be tunnel. There is going to be tunnel. 120, 114. There is some slowdown on there, but that's not bad. And you know what? That really isn't bad. Are we connected to the right side of the tracks? We're connected here. Yes, yes, I know. We're going to connect to the straight network. Yeah. You know what? Do it. I wasn't expecting it to be that reasonable. All right. We still have to do the second the second track. So we're not quite out of the woods yet. Okay. There we go. Yeah, it's a serious piece of tunnel. Actually, it's two tunnels. One through there, and then one through there. You know what? I don't mind that at all. Okay, let's see what we can do as far as roads. We want to make that connection as far off the slope as we can. Um, there we go. Let's electrify some tram track. Too much slope. Too much slope, apparently. But we can go through there. So you know what? I'll take it. And here we are going to want a uh, an actual road depot. We want to make sure that it's electrified for trams. So let's do it like that to avoid lumpiness in the road as much as we can. There we go. So now we could probably actually set up um, a bus line. There. And set up the tram line there. Set up the train. But we'll want to also extend this all the way up to high charity as well before we are ready to set everything up. But we're out of time, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna work on that next time. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna run that passenger line all the way out here to High Charity. We'll need to get the tram set up here. And then we might have to completely redesign some of the way these roads work, but well, that's fine. And then we'll set up the road passengers and the train passengers and get that all going and let's just take one more look at the financials who's losing us money the uh, passenger ships are losing us a ton of money but that's to be expected uh, trams and limbs and vice city not unexpected trams in oh no the Iron Order, Sector 7's losing a ton of money. 
That's unexpected. That may sort itself out over time. As uh, production ramps up for iron. And a couple of other tram lines are what's costing us money. Uh, but we're making 2.3 million moving crude oil. Uh, we're making 2.17 moving passengers. And we're making another almost 2 million moving fuel and crude. And yeah, another almost 2 million on the Sector 7 train yard to McQuack tools. I wouldn't have expected that particular line to be the one that's making the most money. Oh, end of year. Got the San Diego electric trolley and the Russian S3 KPEV. Okay. We'll have to take a look at those uh, for any future train lines. All right, but we go ahead. We're going to end the episode here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.